Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan, and welcome to another edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. If you design your own rockets and you're building your own rockets, you're going to need tubes cut to a certain length. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut those tubes. So to get started, uh, my tools that I'm going to need, I'm going to need a big board or a big flat table, and I'm going to need an aluminum angle, and you can get various sizes. Um, you want to get an angle that's a little bit more than about half the diameter of your tube, and you can find these down at Lowe's or at Home Depot. Um, and then you want to take this and you want to affix it to your table. Um, I got some double sticky tape on this, so I can just peel that up. And since I'm right-handed, I want to put this on the left-hand corner as close to me as possible. So I'm just going to take that and press that down really hard. Because I don't want it to move. Okay. Uh, we're also going to need some kind of clamp. And uh, right here I've got a paper clasp and just a little block of wood. And if you're using a big tube, you'll want to get a nice big clamp and a bigger block of wood. Okay, so this is the tube that I'm going to cut, and the first order of business is to mark where on the tube I want to make the cut. So say I measure it and I want to make my cut right about there on the tube. Okay, I'm going to take my paper clasp and my little block of wood, and I'm going to attach that to one side of the angle that's on the table. Okay, and the reason I want this on the corner is because I need to be able to rotate the tube and if, and if it's in the middle of the table I can't really rotate it that good so I need to get it on a corner. And then I'm going to take my clasp and I'm going to push it that way a little bit because I want to have my cut line probably about uh, one half inch or a centimeter from the end of the angle. And that's where we're going to make my cut. So I'll just move that around until I get it to about that position, right about there. Okay, and you want to make sure that this the tube is flush up against the piece of wood, and that you can rotate it freely. And then we're going to take our hobby knife, and basically the, you're going to hold it like you would a pencil, and you want to put it on the tube like that, and then we're going to rotate it up when we make our cut. Now holding the tube is the other trick that I want to show you. Now I want to watch, I want you to watch my fingers carefully. So I'm going to put, I'm going to hold it with three fingers here, and then this finger pushes it up against the angle and also pushes it this way up against the wood stop. And then with these other four fingers, I'm going to rotate the tube around. Okay. So, here's the technique. I'm going to rotate it down so that my pencil line goes right up against my knife. And then I'm going to rotate the tube away from the knife. And at the same time, I'm rotating the knife up. But I don't, I don't want to go all the way through the tube. I just want to score the surface. Okay, now I've gone all the way around one time, and now I'm going to rotate upward on the knife a little bit more so I can make a deeper cut. And you always want to use a sharp knife for this because uh, the uh, paper really dulls the knife. So I'll just show you that one more time real quick. And there you have it. And if your end is not perfectly straight, you can go ahead and take a sanding tee like this and just gently sand in a circular motion to make a nice flat edge. So that's the technique on cutting body tubes. And I'm Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. And come and visit our website at www.apogeerockets.com to see more of these how-to construction videos.